All of this can be saved and loaded into another clip. But there's one thing you really have to think about. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Joko Pak, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Luma Fusion by Luma Touch. It's the best video editing app on the App Store. If you're serious about doing video editing on your iDevice, then Luma Fusion is the most professional tool you can have. I've produced videos for three years for my channel. All my content has been produced on iDevices, iPhone and iPad. And I've been longing for something like this. Now, Luma touch has been working on this and they keep on working on it and quite recently they released a new upgrade for luma fusion which brings us a whole range of cool tools as you can see here in this little screenshot now in this video i'm gonna show you the preset saving that's right you can now save fx presets that you make inside clips including motions and then you can load it up into another clip so let's grab an effect from here like this one and so we're gonna double tap on this clip and we enter this mode. If we look down here, we have several menus. And so here are the frame and fit. Here we have the speed, the volume, and here we have the FX. And as you can see, I've got loads of FX in here. And we open up refractions here. We can see that I've done multiple edits in this thing. All of this can be saved and loaded into another clip. But there's one thing you really have to think about. This clip is actually synced to a beat because it's a music video. So when you copy the effects, if you copy it from a clip like this, where you've synced something to a beat, then you've got a tempo to consider. So why is this important? The project I've got right here, it's like 128 BPMs, seven seconds and 15 frames long. So if I use that preset for another clip and that clip is longer, then all those keyframes will get spaced out over time. And then they will no longer follow those whatever 128 BPMs or whatever it was. So that's something you need to think about. And that's why I consider it a good practice to tag your presets with either the BPM or the length of the original clip. So let's say we want this exact effect on another clip then saving all of these settings would be nice. Here we have a plus sign and we're gonna press that. And right now it's called effects. So just tap in there and we're gonna call this refraction uh, and bit blur. Now remember the length of the clip. So we put in seven seconds and 15 frames and then just press the plus sign and there it is. So let's jump out of here and let's open up the menu and start a new project and just call it new project one. Create project. So right now I'm gonna load a video, this video right here. I'm gonna shorten it down to seven seconds and 15 frames. Now to add that preset to a clip, make sure that the clip is chosen. And then we go into this menu and then we find presets right down there. And then we go to this menu because this is for the FX. And here we can find our refraction and bit blur. Press there and it gets loaded. And there we go. So let's play this. Now that's pretty cool. So this is how the preset saving system works inside LumaFusion. But we're not quite done. You can actually share your presets and upload them to Dropbox and stuff like that. And so I've created a Dropbox where I will share my um, hack attack presets for some of the stuff I'm making. And I'll share the link down below in the description. So I'll show you how to share your presets. Simply press the preset button, go to whatever preset list you want, if it's a motion thing or if it's a um, FX thing. And I'm going to share this refraction bit blur preset. Long press, then you get this little list where you can rename, share and delete your preset. Press share and you get this. And now you can share your presets to Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, OneDrive or other apps or AirDrop. And this is cool because with AirDrops you can move presets very easily between iDevices. So if I share this to Dropbox now, I just press Dropbox and if you're not logged in to your Dropbox account, then you will be prompted with a login screen. When you are logged in, then simply choose a folder like I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna press here and go to Hack Attack Luma Fusion presets and then Luma Fusion FX presets. 
and then just press share to Dropbox and it's gonna upload the preset. And now you can find a link down below in the description with this preset in it and you can download it with the open in command right into LumaFusion. Stay tuned for more FX animation videos with LumaFusion. I'll make a bunch of them. I just love this app so much. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon account. So if you wanna support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not sign up on Patreon? Now, if Patreon isn't your cup of thing, cup of thing, then you can always share my videos, press the thumbs up if you want to, and um, well, I guess you can subscribe if you if you feel like it. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click in that little well, be bell. There's a bell thing that pops up beside the subscription button and it will notify you. Well, not that bell, but you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Right, so as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.